Sir Isaac Newton here. Welcome back to Transcended Institute. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to solve modulus equations. So let's begin our discussion with a simple concept. So whenever we're talking about modulus, we mean something is in modulus. It means like this. So we have x as in the modulus. So the modulus of x is x. The modulus of negative x is actually x. So anything that comes out from the modulus should be positive. That's the principle. Okay? So what I want you to understand here now is very simple and straightforward. So we're talking about this modulus here. So when we say, if I have got negative 2, it's the same as, it will come out as positive 2. So the modulus of positive 2 and the modulus of negative 2, they're actually the same. So anything in the modulus should come out um, positive. But one thing is, one thing I want to understand is that if I have got x, the modulus of x being equal to 2, I really don't know whether this is negative or positive. Because even if it's negative, it's going to give me positive. Even if it's positive, it's going to give me negative. Therefore, for me to remove the modulus, then I'm going to say this is plus or minus x. So x can either be positive or negative, but still it's going to give me positive. should be equal to 2. That would mean to say x is equal to 2, and x can be equal to negative 2. Meaning that all these values, these two values, if I take them back, to the modulus, it will still give me positive 2 because the modulus of 2 is 2. The modulus of negative 2 is, ne is positive 2. Come on, guys. So that's the basic idea behind the modulus. Other people will tell you to say this same x, when you have got the modulus of x, is the same as in, x is less than 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0. What does it mean? It means that it includes any value. It can be any value, either positive or negative. But because I know that because it is in the modulus, it's going to come out as a positive. Okay? So, for example, let's say we want to solve a simple question that is the modulus of maybe x uh, minus 1 being equal to 0. Just like that. So we want to solve this equation. Where, the, where there is modulus, when you are removing the modulus, just add plus or minus. That's so. So the first part, you are going to solve the one for positive. So you multiply positive with everything inside the brackets. So that becomes x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then x will be equal to 1. That's the first one. Now, Next, you need to multiply everything inside the brackets with the negative because we have got two things. So if I multiply that, that becomes negative x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x, negative x will be equal to negative 1. Then again, x, if I divide both sides by negative, will be, will be equal to 1. So you can clearly see that it, I have put positive and negative, but still the, an, the answer is the same. Okay? So, that's the basic idea behind the modulus. What is in the modulus, when you want to remove it, put plus or minus. Solve it, first multiply it by positive, second multiply it by negative, as simple as that. So now, let's solve more questions under modulus equations. We see if at all we can manage to grasp um, different concepts uh, or different questions that comes under modulus. So I have some questions here which the first question is saying, or the question is solve each of the following equations. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to that is in the modulus is equal to x plus 1. Remember, anything that is in the modulus will come out as a positive. Meaning that when you find the answer, I need to plug in the value, especially where there is no modulus. If it's going to give me negative, outside the modulus, then that one is not the answer. So there we are going to say we have the modulus of 2x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1. 
So I want to remove the modulus because I want to solve the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'll put plus or minus 2x minus 1 should be equal to x plus 1. The first equation we are going to have, we multiply it by positive, nothing is going to change, will be equal to x plus 1 and another one you multiply it by negative that becomes negative 2x plus 1 this other side remains the same because this negative only affects the other side okay x plus 1 so the first thing is you need first to solve for the value of x for this one then you come back and solve for the value of x for this one too so first I'll start with the first one So I'll shift x to go to the left side, so it will be 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 1. This is x. This is x. Now 2x minus x is x, then is equal to 2. That's the first answer. Then another one is this one. now. So we have negative 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1. So negative 2x shift x to go to the other side then it will be 1 minus 1 so negative 3x is equal to 0 so therefore x will be equal to 0 now look at this these are the answers that we have found when you take them back if you 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 take them back especially the part that doesn't have the modulus is supposed to give us positive if you plug in the value it gives you negative, that one we call it extraneous solution. The solution is not part of it. Okay, so what I mean here is simple and straightforward. If I put 2 here, it will be 2 plus 1, that is positive 3. That's okay. So this is my solution. If I put 0 there, it's going to give me 1. That is okay. Okay, so I've solved for this one. Now, Using the same concept, how can we go ahead and solve uh, part B? Okay. So, same concept, open the brackets, remove the modulus, open the brackets, then you say this, you put the brackets, sorry, then this becomes like this. Now, the next thing is you are going to have two things. I can even put them here. So the first thing you multiply it by positive, so that becomes 4x plus 3 is equal to 3 minus x. Next, you say, and another one is going to be, you multiply it by negative, only the part having the modulus. Okay, so 3 times this, that is uh, negative 4x minus 3 is equal to 3 minus x. Now I have got 2. So I'll start with the first one. Let's solve for x. So 4x plus 3 is equal to 3 minus x. Shift negative x to the other side. 4x plus x is equal to, I'll shift 3 to go to the other side. Not so. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift 3 to go to the other side, that is going to be 3 minus 3, so that becomes 5x is equal to 0. I'll divide both sides by 5, even here by 5. Anything divided by, if 0 is on top, the answer is 0. Another one is negative 4x minus 3 is equal to 3 minus x. Come on guys, come on guys, come on guys, let's do it. So negative x plus x is equal to 3 plus 3 this becomes 3x this becomes 6 divide both sides by negative 3 even here negative 3 x is equal to negative 2 if I take I take these solutions back here I should be able to get a positive answer at the same time if I plug in 0 here Okay, that is going to be 3. Again here, if I plug in 0, that is going to be 3. That's okay. So this is the solution. Let's go to negative 2. If I plug in negative 2 here, it's going to be negative 2 plus. 
negative 2 times 4 here that is going to give me what negative 8 negative 8 plus 3 that is 5 okay so it's going to be the modulus of negative 5 but remember anything in the modulus will come out as a positive then here it will be 3 then negative 2 so negative and negative negative and post negative will give me plus so 3 plus 2 that is 5 so that is also the solution so both 0 and negative 2 are part of the solution ok so now let's go to part C it's the same concept just pause the video try to solve it and then you'll definitely see what's going to happen so we have this we have this the modulus of x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 I'm going to open the bracket the, the modulus so that becomes um, plus or minus x plus minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 okay so then it's going to be if I multiply it by positive that becomes x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 and again if I multiply by negative it is negative x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 perfect now we can solve one by one let's start with the first one this one and this one so we'll start with this one so x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 let's shift x to go to the other side x minus 3x is equal to 1 plus 2 this is going to give me negative 2x is equal to 3 divide both sides by negative 2 negative 2 x is equal to negative 2 over 3 next let's go to the next uh, the second one this one so negative x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 so negative x shift 3x to the other side minus 3x is equal to 1 minus 2 not so so <clears throat> negative x are uh, negative this is going to give me negative 4x okay it's going to give me negative 4x it should be equal to negative 1 we we'll divide both sides by negative 4 negative 4 x is equal to 1 over 4 now look at this I want us to take them back there we we'll see if at all both solutions are going to be okay so the first one is negative 3 over 2 then minus 2 it is in the modulus so if I I do the math here I'll be able to get negative 7 if not mistaken over 2 if I've not made any mistake I should be able to get that okay yeah I should be able to get that so what I have done is this minus 2 so I've, I've put 2 here then again I've added 2 there because I know that this can also cancel in out I will have my 2 back so that is 4 negative 7 over 2 yeah this is okay so this is in the modulus it comes out in the modulus you see positive 7 over 2 now let's prove the same one so you always do this as long as there is x outside here like this one but for this one we don't do that because there is no x nothing is going to be complicated there but as long as outside the modulus there is x we always have to prove to, to, to see if at all we have got extraneous solutions that one is very important guys so now what I want you to understand again is this ok what I want you to understand again is this we are now going to put negative 3 over 2 there plus 1 
let's see what we're going to have so we have uh, negative 9 over 2 then plus 1 which is the same as 2 over 2 so that is going to give me negative 7 over 2 have you seen so outside after plugging in the value of this it has given me here it has given me negative 7 over 2 for the fact that it's not positive anything that is in the modulus should come out what positive so therefore this is not part of the solution okay I need to do again 1 over 4 so negative 3 over 2 is not part of the solution the other side is giving me a uh, negative which is outside the modulus and that one we don't want because anything in the modulus will come out as a positive so you saw here that it was like this negative 7 over 2 so it is in the modulus then here now it was negative 7 over 2 but anything in the modulus should come out as a positive so this was supposed to be positive so this is wrong let's now try 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 minus 2 in simple terms is 4 divided by 4 this is going to give me 8 then minus 1 minus 8 that is negative 7 over 4 okay but remember it is in the modulus let's not forget that it is in the modulus so it will be 7 over 4 it has come out as a positive now here it should be also positive so 3 then 1 over 4 okay plus 1 so it's 3 over 4 plus 1 which is the same as 4 over 4 that is 7 over 4 this is positive you have seen right so this is positive therefore the only solution for this equation is x so you write you write the only solution is x is equal to 1 over 4 done okay now there's more practice questions here as you can see that I have I have D I have E I have F I have G especially D is and also E and F they are they are interesting questions so what you should do is them um, I have solved these questions and I have solved these questions and the solutions are already on a website what I want you to do is just go on website check the link in the description below if you have not yet registered with uh, with us register with us and get access to these power of tutorials okay so what I want you to do is if you want to find the full video for modulus equations go to um, go to the website and go on functions functions go direct to solving modulus equations or just modulus equations you're going to find the full video for these questions I have solved all of them so they're going to help you to understand part D, part E, F, G, and H. Okay, so that is it for this video.